house. Um, we're going to hunt till 11, 12 today, and then I got to get home. So um, we're set up on a new piece of property we just got permission on last night, and there's a couple toms out there, one strutter, and there's a hen working towards us. So it's a pretty nice, uh, cool morning. So we'll, we'll see what we can get done. It's pretty nice here to have these birds gobbling this late in the season. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs> not going to come. We've been sitting here for about an hour this morning and a big group of birds flew down and they're headed straight to the north and we're going to, we can try to get around them. It looks like there's a bird that's right behind this machine shed over here um, and we've got permission to hunt the entire area so it's not a big deal if we can get over there and bushwhack him but if that doesn't work we'll try to get after these other birds heading up the hill so let's uh, see if we can get this done. There we go. got it done I'll tell you what this has been the trip of all trips I uh, actually came out here to shoot this with a bow and uh, as you can see I'm using a shotgun it's not even my gun thank goodness uh, Josh had a gun available for me um, I left home I'm pretty chronic about writing a list and writing everything down and making sure I got everything I double check it and uh, I drove all the way here and didn't even realize until I was looking for it that I left my vest at home which has all my calls in it has my gloves, my comfortable gloves, everything that I need, including my releases. Um, so I was unable to unable to bow hunt while I was here. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure we would have got it done. So we made the decision to kind of shoulder the gun and head up over the last knob where they just disappeared. And sure enough, as you saw, uh, his little red head poked up and I missed the first shot. The second shot put him down and I was able to take uh, my second reel uh, here in Kansas and it's a good one. He's probably got inch and a quarter spurs, uh, solid 10 inch beard, uh, probably lower 20s, uh, 19, 20 pounds I'd guess. But I tell you what, this is, this is a special bird because it was the tag that I did not fill earlier in the season. And uh, that kind of makes this story a little bit interesting. The guy sitting behind the camera right here is the guy, if you'll recall back on some of those earlier videos that uh, moved his blind in and got a little bit close on our final day of our archery hunt. Uh, we decided to make a tactical move this morning. We had a guy set up within 30 yards of us. Uh, he came in late and all the birds seemed to stay in here. Yeah. Interesting how that all happened. I posted the video on YouTube. The following morning I had an email from him. We exchanged a few, uh, I'd say heated emails and uh, had to kind of work things out. And finally at, at the end of his last email he said, hey, make it up to you. Uh, why don't you look me up next time you come to Kansas and I thought you know what it's worth a try so I gave Josh a call and um, here I sit behind a bird uh, that would not have been possible had I not met Josh in the way we had and kind of had an interesting beginning but I'll be leaving Kansas with a nice big turkey a full tag and a good friends young outdoors I recommend you look them up that's young-outdoors.com if you ever here in central Kansas want a turkey hunt waterfowl hunt you're gonna have a great time I guarantee it we'll catch you next year
there's nothing. Which one do I want? Like a ceremonial donut after the kill. I've been eating these all morning actually, so there's not a whole lot of ceremony to it, but. Mm. Better than the ones I had yesterday. Not quite as good as one I had in Minnesota once, which was a, a life-changing donut. It was so, it was a pound. And it was a pound because there was frosting inside of it, that much frosting. It wasn't even Bavarian cream, it was that light frosting. It was so good. Mm. I've been losing weight. I didn't eat yesterday, except for a sandwich or two. Oh. What makes fat kid happy right there? Mm.